Have you ever written an application or website hosted on your personal laptop and uh, works fine, but the moment you move outside your local network, you get this error, right? And you think, oh, I'm using the private IP, so let me switch to the public IP, and then you still get the same error, right? So we get in this in this video, we will explain the difference between the public IP and the private IP, and how can you expose your laptop. Uh, to the outside world, your application to the outside world, to the internet. And we're going to explain all about routers and modems and all these things and why this is happening coming up. What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry, where we discuss software engineering by example. If you're new to this channel, welcome. We discuss all kind of software engineering concepts here, tutorials, programming, pretty much anything that is related to software engineering, that part particularly interest me and with that said let's just jump into the video so classically uh, in the early 90s uh, if you remember guys uh, if you hook up your computer to this device that is called the modem that will pretty much you have one device and you more once you hook it up to this this DSL or the modem you will get one IP address and that IP address is the public IP address and you pretty much can be identified do, uh, the entire internet with this IP address, right? And that, that works fine. If you host an application, a Node.js application on this IP address, there everyone can basically use that IP address on that port and then can consume your application anywhere in the internet, okay? Because it's a public IP address, it's known everywhere. However, these days, you pretty much must have multiple devices, right, in your local network. So y you cannot assign public IP address for your phone and Mac and, and your TV and your PlayStation. You cannot do that, right? So pretty much every home now have what they call a router. And the router serves multiple purposes here. At first, it is the one that connects you to the Internet, most probably. It has a modem, right? And that is the machine the router is uh, technically the machine that gets the public ip address right that's the only machine that gets the public ip address but the rest of your network will become an internal uh, local area network a lan right and because of that we need somewhere to uh, it's like we need some sort of an addressing system to address these guys right and that's why the router also gets another internal IP address which is usually like 192.168.11 or sometimes 10.0.0.1 or sometimes 172 like all these internal stuff right and these are not addressable in the internet these are purely internal stuff okay so your machine will get 992.168.19 and then you can run your application and it perfectly works if you're intern if you're internal so if you you if you're in this phone like you, your your phone, and you're connected to the Wi-Fi to the same network. You can access the application because you're in the same network. However, okay, if someone outside tries to access that, you'll immediately they'll immediately get an error because what the what the heck is one nine two one six eight one nine? This is not a publicly addressed IP, so you'll clearly get an uh, error. Okay, so clearly we'll say, okay, uh. I am going to give people my public IP address, which is, uh, let me type it up. So you just type in Google, what is my IP, and you get this number, and then you pay, give it to them, and still, they get an error. <laughs> the, although they used your IP address, so what's going on there? And the reason is, this little router is the owner of this IP, okay? If people connect to this IP address on this port, the router has no idea what this application is. 8080, it has no idea what this application is because it, it's not running, right? Because 8080 or this Node.js application or whatever application you run is not running with your router, it's actually running here. So how does the router knows that, hey, I should forward this to this, right? You should tell the router this, uh, um, this concept. You should teach it. The one of the way to 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 route your application is to do port routing, okay, and that's like the easiest way. But there are a lot of ways to make your application that is hosted here on port one nine two one six eight one nine visible to the internet. There are many ways, okay, and the the easiest way is port forwarding, 
okay so what is port forwarding port forwarding is the idea uh, you create a table in your router and a lot of uh, uh, router support that you go to your firewall options on your router and maybe we can show this if we have the time I can show this uh, hopefully like in a segment quickly how to do that but essentially what you do is like hey router if you ever receive a request on your public IP which is this one on port 8080 please forward it to moi which is 192.168.19 Okay, that's what essentially port forwarding means, okay? And you can literally write that in your router. You say, hey, 8080 means 192.168.19. So router says if it receives an 8080 request, it will automatically bah, bounce it up to your application. And that's why you will get, the users will see your application. However, this, this, uh, this means that your IP address should be hard-coded, static. You cannot assign it as dynamic because every time you change, you have to change that thing, okay? Also, it's a little risky to expose your internal network, uh, like traffic like that, okay? Because uh, you don't want to expose your uh, internal network traffic outside. Like sometimes some people can gain access to your application and do bad stuff to your machine, right? So if you want to do this, do it on a machine that you don't care about. Okay, all right, and uh, all right, so let's try to jump and do maybe some port forwarding. So, all right, guys, so I have a little application here running on, uh, on my Node.js here, and uh, list, basically there's some emojis, uh, right? Very basic application. Uh, this is my private local IP address of my MacBook, okay, and this is the application running on 8080. Obviously, if I go to my public IP address, I am going to get an error, right? And the reason is because we discussed that, right? And even if I took my uh, phone outside the Wi-Fi network and I use 4G, I'm gonna get the same error because now I'm using the public internet, okay? So how can I solve this? If you go to your router, right? This is my basic router configuration here under firewall, you can click firewall port forwarding and this is as you can see this is my public Wi-Fi WAN IP the wide area network and then I'm gonna create like a simple node application here node.js this is I'm gonna create a new uh, application I'm gonna say hey anything that range from 8080 I don't want everything right just 8080 I want you to forward to this device which is that my Mac IP uh, that uh, Hussein Mac which is my machine Okay, and if you click here, you'll you'll see the list of all your entire. List. Obviously, your uh, your router will change based on your uh, router configuration, but you can pretty much find this into any router. Okay, once you said add, okay, this will configuration will get added, and any TCP traffic, which eventually this is HTTP, right? HTTP just bounces back to TCP. All right, this will get forwarded to this machine. So let's try. If now I refresh this. I will essentially have access to that and I'm gonna show you also how I can do it through my phone hey guys as you can see I have uh, I am on my phone I turned off the Wi-Fi so I'm not on my local area network anymore I'm only on 4g so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the browser and literally use the IP address the public IP address of the router and 8080 which we have forwarded and if I click uh, enter I'll get the test image and then we will see the application as you can see guys all right so we can actually connect this and if I give you this address you will have basically uh, even access my application but I'm gonna turn turn this off uh, after I publish the video so you won't be able, able to pub, uh, access this application all right guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it give give it a like and subscribe to uh, check out the other content of this channel. We discuss software engineering by example. We have a lot of topics like this one. We talk about proxies. We talk about uh, tutorials, uh, Python, JavaScript, pretty much anything software engineering that particularly interests me. All right. I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome.